Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, here we are down here at the mini farm. The animals are enjoying. The gooser is going for a swim. <laughs> Goosey goose. And some are hanging out. Some are eating. So we have some grass over there. And this area is from the grass being cut this morning. It's about 3 p.m. right now. And a bit after 3. And, um, yeah. They are eating some food from the garden, guys. I weeded. And I had a lot out here. Yep, I sure did. Had a lot out here. So, um... I'm going to show you guys the garden. If you guys follow the journey here on the mini farm and the videos, you will know the garden was getting out of hand. And guys, even since the last time I videoed it for you, it has really gotten out of hand. Because the rain and everything. So... show you guys there we go guys I did put the rest of the sticks in so I think I don't know if I might ask my husband to help me hit them down a little bit harder but we'll see how these go um, it's not one for every plant but I just put what I could I put them where I thought that we needed them most and then some places that will like mark out where the tomatoes are. Yep. So I still need to tie them up. Maybe I'll get that done this evening. I'm not really sure, but this place, guys, was a hot mess, if you guys could remember. And the grass was way taller. You couldn't even really see the beets. So hopefully it will rain some more. This area does need some rain now, but I cleared it all out. These are the Carolina Reaper peppers. Some are yellowing a bit, but most of them look really, really nice. Like this one especially. The beets are growing up. These, I believe, are turkey berry that's coming up, so we're going to leave them. I took a couple out because it was just too much. And I think what I'll do this time is I will keep the turkey berry um, pruned in such a way that it will be, um, like, controlled, right? So it doesn't take over the whole entire garden, but we will still get the turkey berries. Yeah. So let's take a look around. Here are the tomatoes. I'll get those tied up. Once I do, I'll... Oh, you guys will, of course, see them. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So the tomatoes are doing good. They're flowering. I'm really, really pleased with how they're coming along. And hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of tomatoes. Because we use quite a bit. Yep. Even the pepper over there is flowering. You guys see that? I left some of the turmeric and I took a bunch of it up. So the turmeric is growing everywhere. And guys, to be honest with you, we should use it more, but really we don't, right? I think um, I would really like to do the turmeric milk, but in reality, at the end of the day, it's not really... Um, something I feel like doing <laughs> I'm putting it together so I'll have to see what I can do to um, remedy that because the turmeric milk is really really good for you I did weed in here a bit this was the place I did not weed last time remember and my husband had planted some plants here I did not weed this at all um, I did not get back there by the fence again but I did get inside here. And then this place was all um, 
weeds. And so was this. This was really a lot of weeds in here. It was very, very tall. So right at time I was told I am I need to stop. <laughs> I picked those that tall, tall grass quick to um, fill up my bucket. I didn't want to take a half full bucket down there. So I do need to get back in here and do this, obviously. Um, a lot of work still needs to be done, but I'm really pleased with what I got done this morning. Um, I was trying to get in and weed this whole place as well and over here, but time was not on my side. And the Lord kept the clouds over me until I stopped. And then as soon as I stopped, the sun came out. That was amazing. Um, so there's some turmeric that I left. There's the basil. The radishes are growing really big. Um, we have garden egg in here. This is kind of a mixture, guys. And I'm thinking also of when the cabbage is tall enough, going ahead and putting it in here. Yeah. So this is the garden egg bed here, which was weeded not that long ago. So is doing well. I did weed out the okra and I'm pretty sure there's okra to cut. You see, we got okra coming on. Um, yeah, but for now, and I took out some of the cassava branches so that the sun can get to the few okra that we have. Yep, so I did get all the way here. I weeded underneath this cassava. It had a lot of weeds in it. And this bed is still doing really well. I tried to, so what I know about beets is if you leave the beet itself exposed, the skin on it will get hard. It will get kind of hard. So I did try to pull the dirt up around them to help them grow better so that's what i got there i would have preferred this to be more moved over this way so we don't step on it but it is what it is some tomato plants here on the corner like i told you before in a previous video the cabbage did not take over here at all yeah and then guys look look at the weeding i need to do over here you see so that place over there was even worse than this. Yep, and I had to be real careful with the beets and everything. So over here, there are garden eggs. So we really need to get in here and weed this out. Um, all of these weeds are taking up the nutrients. And then back in here needs to be weeded again. I want to show you guys this type of garden egg. You see it? It's different. Mm-hmm. Yep, compared to the ones we were growing. Compared to this one here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Still a lot of peppers to pick, but I did not get to that. Um, the bok choy is flowering now. Yeah, I wonder if I can get seed from that. We'll have to take a look and find out if I can get some seed. Um, so my husband is, has been thinning these greens, well, salad greens out and giving it to the rabbits. So we're thankful for that. Something was attacking the peppers, so he has sprayed that. And um, yeah, things are looking good overall. There is a lot of work to still be done. And um, yeah, I'm trying to get out here the best I can. So we'll see how that goes. So I'd like to show you guys the progress of things so that you can see you know, it's not going to be perfect, right? I want to encourage you. It's not going to be perfect, guys. So just do what you can. 
do what you can. I honestly, I was stressing about it at one point, and then I finally realized that, you know, slow and steady wins the race. So it's not going to look perfect. It's not going to be perfect like you see those uh, YouTubers and the homesteading channels that I follow. But if you look back on some of their early videos, they, they started messy as well. They didn't arrive there overnight, right? <laughs> Baby girl's coming to cry to me because big boy's chasing her. Baby girl! Baby girl! <laughs> He's funny. He's always yelling at somebody. So, yeah, that's what's going on, guys. That's what's going on. Baby girl's crying to me. <laughs> so, I don't know. I might. I'm feeling a little motivated since talking to you guys and since getting out here. The sun is coming back out, though. Um, yeah, I'd like to get this little spot here weeded. And I'd like to get back down through here done. Another very important one is going to be those garden eggs over there to get them weeded out. Yeah, so, um, and to get the tomatoes tied up. I don't want them to get away from me like they did last time. Yeah, so I'm going to try the steaks this time and see how that works for me. The fencing... I wasn't real impressed with it. I've used it before, and it worked well, but I don't know. Here, the setup, the uh, time span, my age, and everything, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I wasn't real impressed with it this time around. So we're trying the steaks, and let's see how that works. Hopefully, that will work a lot better. Um, yeah, and get them up off the ground and get them staked up and tied up so that it'll be easier to pick them. I've seen people do trellis-like thing and then hang like, uh, how could I say it? It would be like a pole on each side and then maybe a string running along the top with a bunch of strings hanging down so that um, you can just kind of let the tomato go up the string and tie it off as it's climbing the string. But I don't know, I just, I wanna try it like this and see how it goes. If it doesn't rain, it looks like I'm gonna have to get out here and water these beds where I pulled all the grass and everything out because they're looking like they need some water. So I'll have to watch that. But look at that side of it, guys. It truly is a mess, but we'll get there little by little. And if we don't, it's not a deal breaker, right? Baby girl, what happened, baby girl? What? Are you telling? Big boys harassing you? <laughs> <laughs> they do that when they hear my voice. They come run into me. If I'm in there, they'll, like, let's see. If I go in there, let's see if she'll run to me. Because he won't come. He won't come over there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you guys get to see how it is. Baby girl. Baby girl? Baby girl? What happened? What happened, baby girl? What is it, baby girl? Come on. Come on. There she is. There she is. Come on. Sister, come on, baby girl. Come on. Come on. Look, he's looking at another one now. Come on, baby girl. Come on. Come on. There she is. Come on. Come on. 
There she is. They're the baby girl. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I'm trying to get her up here, guys. So I can pet her easier. Up, be up. Up. Ah, oh, there she goes. There she goes. There you go, baby girl. There she goes. Come on. Come on close. There she goes. There she is. There's the baby girl. There's the baby girl. Yeah. And there's the baby. You're the baby still. And there's the sister. Big mama. Look at mama. Look at how big she's getting. That's just funny. You see big boy's gone. <laughs> Sorry, big boy. What's up, baby girl? Did you need a little break from mister? Huh? Huh? You can come back this way, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. Hey, mama. Subain, what's up? What's up? Are you a good girl? Mm-hmm. Good girl who's not going to come down here anymore. Yes. So that's what we got going on, guys. Just enjoying the animals. I wanted to show you the garden. And I want to encourage you. You know, things aren't always going to be perfect, right? It's life. Got a lot going on. You got a lot going on. You do the best you can with what you got and the time you have. And um, you go from there. So I'm really pleased. It was really satisfying to get that amount done that I got done and I'm really happy with it and I just wanted to share it with you guys and encourage you this is not the homestead that is perfect right we don't have everything in place we have a lot of moving parts we have a 50 acre farm as well and um, other things that business things that we do so yeah aside from your daily day-to-day -day life things that you need to do and all that good stuff but i'm really really happy it felt really good to see the animals enjoying all of the grass and everything um i had probably eight to ten buckets like regular five gallon pails I had about eight to ten of them that i tossed out here i tossed a lot of it here a lot of it up here i just kind of spread it out and then i put some over here for the duckers and the geese so everybody could enjoy and i think they really enjoyed it look at big mama <laughs> so yeah that's it guys that's the whole deal it had rained a little bit um about three times rain and then the sun came out rain and the sun came out so i had covered the cassava that was drying and then my husband came out here and he got it uncovered again so uh yeah so that's what we got going on um i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're inspired what are you guys doing how's your garden looking guys how's your garden looking are you gardening if not if you want to garden in the future why don't you plan one out what would you do how would you do it what things would be your ideal things to grow in your garden let me know all right guys i think i'm gonna let you go at that um yeah short video today i just wanted to show you guys what was accomplished Maybe eventually I'll be fancy like some of the vloggers and set the camera up on the tripod while I'm working and then fast forward the video for you guys so you can see how I'm doing it. <laughs> but for now, this is what you get. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're inspired. Um, I'm really happy and blessed. And I'm going to let you go at that. Till next time. God bless you.